Hi everybody, I'm Barry Stokes, on-camera host for Fox Sports Outdoors Television. Can't tell you how much I love my Mercury Optimax Pro XS outboard engine. I want to show you a couple of features about these outboards that you might not be aware of. What are some of these components down in the lower unit and what do they do? The first one is located right here on the side of the gear case. It's these little intake holes right here. Water goes in, goes up to the head of the engine and cools some of those components. You want to make sure that those holes are clear and free of obstruction all of the time. Now they're designed in such a way where most everything will slide right across. But if you are in very heavy grass or mud or moss, you could get those blocked and you just want to check those from time to time and make sure they're clear. The next one is located right here on the front of the gear case. It's a tiny little hole. It's the speedometer water pickup. Water goes in that little hole and circulates up to your speedometer. If that ever gets blocked with mud or wood or some other obstruction, simply your speedometer won't work. Now what I like to do is keep a little small drill bit with me in my glove compartment. If that gets blocked, you simply with your fingers gently put that drill bit right in the front of that hole, slowly twist it, and the mud or the wood will come out. Warning, do not under any circumstances attach that drill bit to your electric drill and try to drill that out. You will cause damage to your lower unit. Do it with your fingers only with very gentle pressure and the mud or the obstruction will come out fairly easily. The third one is located here up top. It's right on the back of your engine. It's the hole for the telltale stream. This is the tiny stream of water that flows out while the engine is running to indicate the water is properly flowing up top and cooling the proper components. So every once in a while, while your engine is running, you wanna take a quick glance back and make sure that water is streaming out of the telltale hole. If you'll pay attention to those three things, you can keep your Mercury outboard engine running and cooling properly.